the entrance antiphon, all the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. Good morning. Good morning. The intention of the Mass this morning is for Janet and Eddie Brigham. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most beautiful soul. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show a Father's care for all, grant in your mercy that the members of the human race to whom you have given a single origin may, from, may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel said to Saul, Stop. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Saul replied, Speak. Samuel then said, Though, you, though little in your own esteem, are you not the leader of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king of Israel and sent you on a mission, saying, Go and put the sinful Amalekites under a ban of destruction. Fight against them until you have exterminated them. Why then have you disobeyed the Lord? You have pounced on the spoil thus displeasing the Lord. Saul answered Samuel, I did indeed obey the Lord and fulfill the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought back Agag and I have destroyed Amalek under the ban. But from the spoil, the men took sheep and oxen, the best of what had been banned, to sacrifice to the Lord their God and Gilgal. But Samuel said, Does the Lord so delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obedience to the command of the Lord? Obedience is better than sacrifice and submission than the fat of rams. For a sin like divination is rebellion and presumption is the crime of idolatry. Because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he too has rejected you as ruler. The word of the Lord. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? 
or do you think that I am like yourselves? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected, Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on a cold cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away. The new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wineskins. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was in the seminary, I remember sitting at the breakfast table one Sunday morning, and one seminary wasn't eating much or not eating at all. Another seminary was appalled. He says, you can't fast on Sunday. It's the day we remember the, the, the Lord's resurrection. We celebrate. It's a day not of fasting, but celebration. Then a seminary debate uh, ensued, and I probably got up and walked away somewhere in that. But um, our church gives us times to fast and times to feast. Uh, our gospel today, Jesus says that uh, the disciples can't fast while the bridegroom is with them. And traditionally, um, Christians fasted on Wednesday, remember the day that Judas betrayed Jesus, and Friday, the day that Jesus was crucified remembering his leaving them behind, the fasting. Uh, so we're, I think we're all called to have patterns of fasting in our lives. It doesn't have to be extravagant. extravagant. It could be fasting from some small thing uh, once a week or offering it for an intention of prayer. Sacrifice is part of the Christian life. And today, as we remember and celebrate uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who uh, was a great champion for civil rights and equal treatment of all humans, he was a man who fasted and sacrificed, who gave ultimately of his life uh, for unity in our country, for racial uh, harmony. And uh, the letter uh, of the United States Catholic bishops in 2018 uh, put out a letter called Open Wide Our Hearts, uh, addressing the evil of racism. And it pointed out a couple forms of racism. It really can take many forms, but the first is deliberate acts. and. Uh, deliberate acts, sinful acts of hate against others, which is an evil that uh, has to be rooted out of humanity. I think with the power of prayer and fasting, as Jesus said, some things can only be driven out with, with prayer and fasting. The document also pointed out another more subtle form of racism that can take root in the hearts of all mankind, um, being placed there unwillingly or unknowingly by the way we were raised or brought up, by the way that society teaches us, and it can cause us to consciously or unconsciously look down upon other people, to think that they're not worthy of certain gifts of society, of certain rights. Um, so I think racism is 
sometimes more subtle than we expect. And the Lord asks us to offer prayers and fasting, to look at our own lives, to see how our own um, awareness of others uh, can be uh, uh, navigated or um, um, uh, looked at, I think. Uh, because uh, our Lord only wants us to be brought together in unity and peace. He only wants us to be brought uh, together uh, in love, united in Him. For the church, may God continue to help each one of us faithfully live our baptismal calling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For leaders and public officials, may God guide their hearts in making just and wise decisions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are suffering from the ravages of war or violence, May the Lord grant them safety and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for an end to racism and for a promotion of unity between all people. We pray to the Lord. Amen. O God, in confidence and trust, we offer you these prayers and petitions. You are Lord God, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Bless to you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we hold. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless for the youth, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all of your children, through Christ our Lord. just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we have prayed. Holy, 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 Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of the Mystery of faith, we proclaim that therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you both the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily and forgive us our trespasses. As we can give those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To the rest of Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called on the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you stand down in my room, but I will say Communion Antiphon Option 2. We have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us.
That's correct. Bestow on us, the Lord, we pray, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the masses and Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you, we humbly pray. And thou, 